48 in Palm Harbor this morning. It's 47 in Tampa. Ooh, I know, 44 in New Tampa. And then let's go north and get into the 30s where I have Zephyr Hills, Dade City, Brooksville, Crystal River, Inverness all starting in the 30s this morning. It's a bundle up Tuesday, everybody. 46 to 48 from Lakewood Ranch to Venice, and then in the 40s for our inland locations as well. Yes, it's colder than yesterday, too, as well. 6 to 12 degrees on average, colder than it was yesterday. And yesterday was about 15 degrees colder than the day before. It was 81 degrees on Saturday afternoon when y'all were tossing beads recklessly everywhere, right? It was 58 yesterday. What a difference. Winds are relatively light, but they're out of the north, okay, which makes a difference because now when you get a north wind in this particular pattern, you're going to push these cold air clouds kind of out of here. And you see them all down here in the southern Gulf. You know that cloud cover we had yesterday? It's down here being pushed to the south. You've got cold air clouds off the east coast of our state, so they may get a few, but we're mostly clear which means we're going to have a lot of sunshine today and finally uh, warming things back up into the mid-60s. Not where you want it to be, but we got to stop somewhere in the mid-60s for today. Meanwhile, a massive storm system is getting ready to, to push its way into the Pacific Northwest. Rain and snow and wind, and it's, it's going to be a massive mess. But eventually, this storm system works its way to the south and the east. And by the time the second half of our weekend rolls around, it's our turn. So by Saturday early afternoon, whatever you've got outside, you're good. Saturday is going to be fine. Saturday night's going to be fine. Watch as all of this rain approaches the area Sunday morning. So when you wake up first thing on Sunday, it'll be just sitting on our doorstep. And we could get some heavy rain and some thunderstorms, maybe some strong storms. Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. And again, this is all going to depend as many factors that are going to go into this. Okay, and it's only Tuesday morning, so we'll be fine tuning this all week long. But this looks to be a very strong low pressure system. It's a little bit further south than some of the other ones this winter, and that'll help to add a little juice and energy, if you will, to this whole system. Meanwhile, on the back side of this Monday, we may get more showers as well. So we are looking at a decent rain event coming in Sunday. Monday and into Monday, but until then, it's quiet and dry. Mostly sunny, 65 degrees, your high today. Tonight, a lot of us will go back into the 40s again. Huh, guys, I forgot the L. So tonight is going to be mostly sear, okay? <laughs> okay, just letting you know that. Mostly sear. <sighs> Tuesday morning. Okay, 68 degrees your high temperature for tomorrow. I just noticed that. I've done it three times and I just noticed that. 68 degrees for your high temperature tomorrow. Your marine forecast today looks delightful. Enjoy. Finally, a light chop for you. And in terms of tides, our high tide was at 4 o'clock this morning with a low tide in St. Pete at 1038. We're quiet and we start to get miles. We go into the weekend. Saturday, the warmest day in the mid-70s. Then that rain comes around Sunday and into Monday.